Hey up everybody. Uh, right, I'm on next part of this uh, sweet pea renovation that I'm uh, that I've started. In the last part, I got this boiler off because uh, this is what this is one of the uh, anomalies that I've got to sort out before I do anything else. Because uh, I've got I've got no uh, I don't know the history about this. So uh, what I've done then, you'll see that in the last video, I've took all boiler off completely, remote cladding, smoke box, all fittings etc. I'm now about to blank it up with blanking plugs. Now I was going to use my uh, blank plugs, blanking plugs that I've saved when I did my meter make because it's the same boiler but lo and behold the safety valves and the manifold are the same but the clip valves, the water gauge, the blowdown they're different. On this one it's 5 16th cycle but on the drawing, when I made mine, it tells you to do on 5 16 by, by 32. So I've got no blanking plugs for that. So that's going to be my next job. Uh, and then I'm ready for pressure testing it. But I'm, before I do that, I'm going to, I'm going to go, go over it with a good visual uh, check first and make sure I can't see any anomalies. Um, and then get, get it up to, hopefully, uh, twice the working pressure. So I'll not bore you with me being out late making blanking plugs, uh, I'll get them done and then we'll reconvene and then we'll have a look to see if it's going to hold any water. I just wish this pressure gauge had all. If I just put my spanner under that handle, it might just hold it. That's got it. Let's have a look there. Yeah, there's just a slight drip under that regulator pad. 
that blanking pad. Let me just double check. Yeah, there's nothing there. Nothing at the front. Nothing round here. Well, it'd be losing pressure, wouldn't it? If it were leaking. Slight blemish under that blanking plug. Right, I'll take that as a, well, as a pass from me, but I'm not the inspector, am I? So, uh, it don't matter what I say, it's what the inspector says. Okay, then just off camera, I've had it stood at this 160 PSI for a good 10 minutes now, and I've just got a very, very slight drip under my regulator pad where I've not sealed it quite properly and there's a light drop coming out that blanking plug which I've not sealed properly uh, but it's dropped about what five or six psi due to this little drip perhaps um, I've had my torch about ten times round everywhere front, middle, back and uh, everything seems sound so uh, it's not down to me though is it I'm, a, I'm just an uh, intermediate tester here so I've got to take this up to my uh, boiler inspector now and let him uh, have a good check over of it so uh, yeah, as, as and when I can see Boiler Inspector. So, uh, I think that's going to be it for this uh, part. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do now. Because this, because this one's checking by Inspector and, and, and signing off, I don't know whether to make a start at rest at Loco or just wait and aim fire till I've seen Inspector. I probably probably will do that wait because I don't want to spend time at rest on it if this is no good. Anyway, um, if you found that useful, informative, interesting, enjoyable, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, that'll help my channel a thumbs up, and uh, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time. Then, thanks for watching. Bye for now.